My General CD Collection Part 31. Hi oh, everybody and welcome to part 31 of a look at my general CD collection. So onto that set of shelves there. These are pretty much pickups from the last 18 months. A lot of them I've already shown because they were charity shops and I've shown them on haul videos. Uh, these are just normal albums, no box sets, no compilations, no soundtracks, no signs CDs, no Prince related CDs. Uh, first up for this part we have Will Young's From Now On. This was his first album, probably his weakest is too much sort of influenced by the pop idol market um so evergreens on here which was the single from pop idol his cover of light my fire which i've always loved his cover of a long and winding road with gareth gates which is okay uh i think you and i was a single as well it's okay as i say probably the weakest i've got all his albums but one now and i say probably his weakest of those anyway uh, big hits from the Big O, 24 classics from Roy Orbison. This probably does me for Roy Orbison. I might pick up the album, oh, a sort of comeback album, um, Travelling Real Zero album. His name, I can picture the cover, but I can't picture the words on it. Let's have a look. Mystery Girl, is it? Yeah, Mystery Girl. I might pick up that if I find it on vinyl, but otherwise this will do me. Uh, in Dreams, Only Be Lonely, A Pretty Woman, Crying. Uh, running Scared, It's Over, I Drove All Night. Yeah, that's it. It'll do. Uh, my favourite band, Divine Comedy. This is their latest album, Office Politics. Uh, double album, it's only a single CD because it's about, it's just under 80 minutes but it was recorded as a double album. Uh, this is the deluxe version, I did unbox this and it has a second CD which has got the demos, let me get and find it. Neil Hannon, of it, who is the drawing comedy, uh, wrote the music for a musical of Swallows and Amazons, which I saw in the West End and was excellent. Uh, these are his piano demos of the songs from it, which is the only form of release they've had. Really strong album. You know, he deliberately recorded a double album and he wanted it to be a proper double album with lots of experimental bits on it as well. But 16 tracks, can't fault any of them. This is the best, or the very best of Crowded House. Again, it's probably do me. Uh, weather review, world where you live, fall at your feet, don't dream it's over. <sighs> Four seasons in one day, it's only natural, distant sun. You know, that's sort of the tracks of as I want. I, I enjoyed it, hasn't made me want to get more. Uh, Beverly Nights Music City Soul. Uh, I'm not sure which album of this. I've picked up a few of her albums now, but I couldn't tell you how many she's released and the order. Um, but enjoyed them all. I just love her voice. And, you know, she's a big Prince fan and Stevie Wonder fan and all the stuff I love, and it comes across in her music. Uh, Rock Steady was a single, I think. No Man's Land and After You, apparently, were. But yeah good album as all of us are yeah stepping out very best of joe jackson joe jackson grew up in gosport my hometown he's sort of a you know a local hero if you like but i never really knew much of his music apart from stepping out is she really going out of him different for girls probably were the only three tracks of his that i knew thought i'd pick this up really enjoyed it I will pick up his albums basically. I've already got something to do with man. And again, I only listened to it yesterday. Like Elton John one I show, talked about in a previous part. Ah, uh, and mine's gone blank. 
but I enjoyed that album, so I will pick up a lot more Joe. Uh, the Feeling, 12 Stops and Home, really good album, really enjoyed The Feeling's work. This has got Never Be Lonely, Feel My Little World, Love It When You Call, all big hits, it's really enjoyable pop music, basically. Uh, this is Leo Sayer's Restless Years, this was his album from 2015, so I bought the Leo Sayer box set that had all his albums up to... 2014 when I'm not sure when the last one in the box set came out really enjoyed that really got into his music uh didn't pick this one up this was sort of after this had been released I think but uh, I went to see him live last year yeah I think it was the start of last year amazing gig Just brilliant brilliant gig uh, I'd already picked up his new album selfie which you're about to see on vinyl but while I was there, I picked it up on... Oh, no, am I don't know, that right around? Yeah, I also picked Selfie up on CD, as I which you're about to see. Plus, rest of the years on CD and vinyl. I am also collecting the vinyl box sets. I think that's... Is that where I'm pointing? No, that's, no it's not. Yeah. Uh, there. He's re-releasing all his albums on clear vinyl in box sets, themed box sets. And I have the three of those that have been released so far. Two there and one in my to listen to pile. So yeah, really into Leo Sayer. Good album, very bluesy in parts. This is Selfie, his latest album that came out last year. Again, another really strong album. Uh, Soul Mining is an excellent song. In particular... Both of these albums, I, certainly Selfie, but I think both of them, there's more tracks on the CD than there are on the vinyl, unfortunately. Uh, George Michael's Older, so I picked this up in a charity shop, got it home and it was unplayable. Uh, similar to um, About a Boy by Badly Drawn Boy, which I talked about on a previous video. So I binned it and just ordered, for again, for about a pound on eBay, I ordered another copy. Good album. Jesus to a Child, Fast Love, Spinning the Wheel, Star People, You Have Been Loved, were all big hit singles. But yeah, really strong album. Uh, the Best of Delamitri, Hat Full of Rain. Again, probably will do me. I did pick up a 12 inch of Nothing Ever Happens because I just loved that song and it was one ninety nine in my local Oxfam, so I thought, what the hell? But um, Roll To Me, Kisses Finger Goodbye, Nothing Ever Happens, Always The Last To Know. Certainly other big hits. Uh, a couple of others I think I knew when I heard them. Good album, as I say, don't really, haven't really made me want to get more. Uh, take That, this was Everything Changes, this was their second album. Again, you know, the singles are great on it, the rest of it's okay. Everything Changes, Pray, Relight My Fire, Love Ain't Here Anymore, Why Can't I Wake Up With You, and Babe. All singles off of this. Uh, Keen's Perfect Symmetry, this is their latest... No, it's not. Ignore that, it's not their latest album, I don't know why I said that. This was their album from 2008. Uh, I've got... Hopes and Fears, enjoyed it, but never really got any more keen. But pretty much inspired by seeing Tom Chaplin, is it last year or year before? Might have been end of 2018. Um, I saw him, well, it might have been starting last year. Anyway, he did a concert, or a series of concerts, but I saw him at um, Bournemouth Pavilion Theatre with... Uh, um, Leo Green's BBC Radio 2 Friday Night's Music Night's Orchestra doing a concert of Queen songs and he, he just blew me away. Such a talented singer. Um, and also watching Rock Boy... I can never remember your numbers, James, sorry. Four, eight, six, 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 six eight, four, whatever. James's videos. Um, not that you're going to see this, I doubt. But anyway, he's a big Keen fan and sort of, sort of inspired me to dive back in. So I've picked up a bit more of their stuff. 
as I found it. Um, anyway, this is Perfect Symmetry, which I think was their third album. Um, but yeah, really good album. Green by R.E.M. Very strong album. This was their first Warner Brothers album, I think. Uh, Pop Song 89, Stand. Great track. Orange Crush. Another great track, but really strong album. Uh, this is Scissor Sisters' third album, which is called Night Work. Yeah, Night Work. Picture of um, Jake Spears, Jake Shears' ass. Uh, another really strong album. It's not as good as their first two, but still a good, fun album. A little bit darker. Uh, Suede's coming up. Probably my favourite of their albums. Although I still struggle with his voice on it. Um, it's Trash, Beautiful Ones, Saturday Night. We're definitely singles. Got a feeling one or two more were obviously bought in MVC originally, which takes me back. I used to love MVC. Uh, this is Brian Adams' 18 Till I Die. I have his greatest hits that he bought out last year, year before, on CD already. I like Brian Adams a fair bit, you know. Um, so when I found Miss Cheap, I thought, oh, I'll grab that. It's got, the only thing that looks good on me is you. The title track was a single. Uh, have You Ever Really Loved a Woman? I finally found someone, which is a duet with Barbara Streisand. Let's make a night to remember. Star apparently were singles as well. But yeah, that was a good album. We enjoyed listening to that. Uh, this is the very best of the coasters. Thought I'd pick this up. Um, there's enough on here that I like. Uh, Young Blood, Yakety Yak, Charlie Brown. Poison Ivy, sort of the stuff I knew in advance. An enjoyable listen. R.E.M.'s Document, which um, I think was, might be their last IRS album. Uh, Finest Work Song, It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine, which I really, 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 really like. And one I Love, which is an amazing song. Oh, and this has got extra stuff on it as well, on this version. Another good album. A uh, bit more blues, which I think I'm referring to the last part. Um, very best of Sonny Boy Williamson. It's a little, it's a weird copy of this, because it's two CD sets. And it's, but it says just says disc one there. And then on the back cover... It's sort of got a pasted over track list. So I don't know if somebody sort of bought the two, but um, the booklet covers both discs. So I don't know if somebody put it in a slimmer case, but then why does the. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't quite work out how it, that's all happened and come together. But anyway, that, that the music, good blues stuff, basically. Uh, more blues, very best of John Lee Hooker. I had a John Lee Hooker C, uh, cassette, which I always enjoyed. This is a two CD set. If truth be known, it's probably overkill. I mean, there's 45 tracks on here and a lot of them sound very similar. But enjoyable enough. I think I, you know, a lot of blues stuff. I prefer almost on shuffle, if you know, where it pops up track by, you know, random tracks at a time rather than sitting and just listening to a whole album of them. It tends to wash over a bit. Uh, similarly, Best of Muddy Waters, King of the Blues, I get 50 tracks on this. Again, lots of really good stuff. 50 tracks is a lot of it. Um, I, you know, I say that 
sitting and listening to an eight track blues album is fine but a big compilation like that a bit too much uh robert johnson the blues collection red hot blues this was from the blues collection magazine again found this in a charity shop though I, again robert johnson i had cassettes of uh, released cassettes I think it was a two cassette set with everything he ever recorded on it and I had that or have that up in my loft um this is a little more of a, a best of if you like but yeah really like Robert Johnson that's not so bad listening to all of that uh okay that will do for this part there will be one more part and then we'll have all my CD albums covered uh, apart from new stuff I haven't listened to yet anyway enough waffle like that thank you for watching like comment subscribe keep an eye on my playlists and I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.